How's things? Uh, brilliant. I don't know if you've been watching the TikTok, but my goodness me. Apart from weather, Scott, it's a bit on the cold one, isn't it? Ooh, it's a cold one. You've got to wrap up warm, Glenn. As, uh, you know, with energy, you know, with energy suppliers and all these increases. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think these companies ought to just realise how tough it is for people these days with bills and that? You know, we've yeah. got electric. Absolutely. Hang on a second. Exactly. Here's Billy asking, where is Scotland? Right? Scotland gets, is Kareem at the centre of the universe, Billy. I hope Kareem gets well soon from COVID. Uh, bless Kareem, yeah. yes. Poor la. Uh, you know, I mean, I hope he's OK. I think personally, though, from, from, a, from my point of view, I think we're stuck with this for, for a long time, Scotty. Do you oh, know? yes, yes. I think we're going to have to sort of find a way around it. It's just like another version of flu, so to speak, in it, I think. Yeah, it's how you go about it. I remember oh, having yeah. a decorator in the house, and he told yeah. me what we need him done, and I said, uh -huh. how much does it cost? And he said, um, ah, well, you see, it depends what way we go about it. Exactly. <laughs> you, you, don't let, you don't let things like adverse weather and the COVID and all that play a part in your life. Obviously, it plays a little part in your life, but you yeah. don't let it... Over all your life, do you? No, no, you can't. I mean, you've got to, you've got to get on with your life. But take you precautions. Have, you know, keep a bit of social distance. Of course, you have. I mean, what do you reckon to them lower restrictions then, Scotty? Do you think that's a good idea then? Well, I don't know. You see, we've kept ours in Scotland just for now. Yeah. Yeah, just to see what's what, Glenn, you know what I'm and saying? What do you reckon that evil man's playing at then, Scotty? Uh, well, Mr. I don't Beyonce know what he's there. playing at, to be quite honest, because I'm not party to all the end-to-end -end encrypted calls to the Kremlin. But, yeah, um, you, do. you know, I mean, I, I'm finding it very strange that he's gone as far as he has, but there's quite a bit of history in Ukraine that we're not necessarily hearing about. Oh, yeah. You, you see? So I think I he was that. made a bit nervous by the West pushing in. I mean, he's on an adding to nothing, isn't he, Scotty, to be honest? Well, yes, it's just going to cause a lot of problems for people when we've had problems anyway. I mean, I don't know if he realises we've had the pandemic here and yeah. we've had Brexit. And now we're getting, you know, a bit of war, the threat of war on top of it. Do you think we'll have a World War Three then, Scotty? No, I, I hope not, because uh, it wouldn't last very long. And um, they only give you a three-minute warning, and I can't find something I really want to do. I thought boiling an egg might be an idea, but you'd only it'd be quite soft-boiled because it's not going to be ready. I like this guy. I love it. Do you know, so I'm kind of, I'm stuck for ideas if we get a three-minute warning. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, just like I said, like we said, Scott, um, nothing surprises us these days with what no, we've got no. in life. If we did get we a three-minute warning, I think probably I'd pop up and take a few calls. Yeah, yeah definitely. You, you know, Scott, uh, you, you're, so, you're such a charming and uh, charming and reliable guy, Scott. Well, anyway, just, to, just to put people's minds at ease. Scotty, you know, you know when you rub people the wrong way in past on, on radio, Scott? Oh, uh, all know, the like, time, yes. That, that's your charm offensive, that, Scotty, to be fair. That, that's something that you should be credited for. all for. You just... Well, we don't want to be letting them off with too much nonsense. Well, of course you don't. I mean, what you see is what you get, Scotty, kind of thing, isn't it? If, if they don't like you, throw your heart. And now, here's Alan, here's Alan saying there will be a coup before it comes to that. Never mind yeah. the oil from Russia, says Danny. Let's keep drilling in the North Sea and be the new supplier to Europe. Danny, you're taking the words out of McClue's mouth. We shouldn't so you know be getting our gas from Russia. We should be getting it from Scotland. So anybody who's Russian and who's got businesses over here, do they have to go back to Russia then? Well, no, what's happening, and it's 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 going to be a short, sharp shock, this, uh, yeah. the, 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 the dollar, they've been stopped from dealing in dollars, and 80% oh, yeah. of Russian business is apparently done in dollars. Oh, so they, they've got no chance to have that. So, you know, I mean, it's going to bite pretty harsh and they're not going to be able to fuel up the army and all that stuff. I mean, there, there is Russian people that live in England, though, Scotty, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yes, I mean, oh, gonna... lots and lots all over the place. How England, Scotland, everywhere. How are they going to adapt to it, Scotty, do you reckon?